Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Rebirth Cradle. Today I'm here with my Volans baby. Um, she is a girl that I purchased from Amazon. And uh, the last video I did with her was I um, lightened her lips. She had extremely red lips. So I toned them down using soap. And water and it worked but now that she's been around in my collection for a little bit and I do spend time with her as you can see <laughs> you never seen her in these clothes but um, it's time for her to be powdered and I also want to go over her details um, so she is a budget silicone baby and um, she is a Volance baby. I will link her box opening. But yeah, she's starting to get like a little sticky. So where I live in Canada, I am not, uh, it's not easily for me to get a hold of like the silicone powders that there is on the market. Um, so I just use baby powder with cornstarch and I have partial silicones that are actual done by artists. This one here was made in a factory. But I do have authentic partial silicones and I've been using baby powder with cornstarch for years and years and years. And I haven't had a problem with them at all. So these are preemie size creamy size but this her jacket is a newborn and she comes bald I think one day when I learn how I would love to root her but I'll show her up close so this is what she looks like. I adore her. You can change her eyes. She came with different eye colors. She came with green, blue, and brown. But I do want to change her and I do want to show you her. So her feet are like normal size. Her hands are normal. See, I have a partial silicone and his his hands are quite small. My Nathaniel and these feet are actually big. <laughs> I think they're big feet for a preemie, but I mean for a factory made doll, I think she's done very well. And then she wears preemie diapers. I will show you one thing I don't like about her. That, and I don't know because I have never seen a full body artist silicone except for on YouTube, but never in person. But I will show you what I don't like about this particular doll. Once I take these off, take off her onesie. Well, she's kind of sticky. That's why she needs powder. <laughs> so yeah, this is, um, I purchased this from Walmart. It's uh, just a Walmart brand, like a dollar ninety-nine. Okay, so here she is. I love her belly. <laughs> yeah, she needs powder. She is getting sticky, and I see that there's shadows in here. Okay. 
wonder if I could zoom in. I'll be right back. <laughs> She's so cute. And I never gave her a name reveal either. Um, as you can see, she has a line right here. Now, if you get a factory-made silicone, they're all going to have this seam line. Um, a, an authentic, like, done by Reborn Artist, they won't have these. But, so, oh, she's so cute. But yeah, they see that line on her head. But that doesn't bother me because she's going to wear either headbands or hats. And maybe one day I'll root her. But yeah, you could change out her eye colors. Which is pretty cool. So. Okay. I I will mention what I don't like about her. Uh, it's like. She can't breathe. But. Okay. She has like these. um Imprints of hair. Let's see if I can. Show you what I mean. No, not really. It's kind of hard to see. She has like these little grooves of hair. I don't know what that is. It might just be a flaw. And I don't know what those are. But she has like these little grooves of so-called hair. And as for her shape, I like her shape of her head. I like her shape of the limbs. I like her shape of her back. This is what I don't like. It's so flat. It's like a little pancake. I prefer a little tush because I mean but <laughs> but yeah she's like totally flat and okay wait I will take off her diaper okay I'm going to take off her diaper so and change this so she is not a drink and wet system I think you can buy Wolens babies that have a drink and wet system. Just trying to. Oh, it's so sticky. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Oh, I know why it's because it's so small. I'm trying to wrap this up so I can throw it. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. Um, I will get out my baby powder. But yeah, I just want to show you how flat. Look. <laughs> she has no butt. Um, so, I don't know. When I do pick her up and hold her, that's this feature makes me not as like bonded with her she doesn't feel realistic to me so you know what we used to do in this hobby back in the day okay i know this is a lot i don't care it smells nice <laughs> i'll just keep doing this um what we used to do back with the old ribbon cloth bodies was that we would actually put a little pouch in their diaper. Like we'd open up their diaper and we'd add our own little pouch, pouch of like uh, crystal beads or crystal beads, glass beads. 
we would make up our own. And if we didn't have like inside reborn material, I'm pretty sure I remember some people used like socks, like, like pantyhose or socks and use that because there's nothing here. Oh, she's so soft now. Glides on smooth. So yeah, oh yeah, this works. It's not sticky anymore. So, I don't know. I love looking at her and I love like, you know, touching her silicone limbs and feet and hands. And I like doing this and go like this. But um holding her in my arms, like the cuddle, she's not is good. I don't like it. Cause she's not really comfortable. Now, for a name, I would love to call her Alina, but I'm not sure for a middle name. So, if you have a middle name for Alina, please comment down below what you would think a name that would go good with Alina. I love the smell of a big putter. Sure do. Ooh, bit much. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, that's the only thing, is her butt, is like, there's nothing, nothing to it. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, so, and these are preemie. So I think too, and I love it when her little belly button shows. Um, I would love to one day like put something in here to give her a little tush. Okay, for her clothes for today, I have this onesie. It's a premium size. This was given to me by a friend. And this is a sleeper, also preemie size. And I've used this on a few other my preemie babies that I have. So here's Alina. Alina. I oh, know I was thinking of a name that starts with a B. Or Alina. Nicole, but I have the name Nicole already in my collection. I have a lot of names. So if you have ideas of names, comment more than one because I have a lot of dolls and I have a lot of names already used up. She looks good in pink. I think I like pink. Okay. 
Yeah, I had her in like this clothing outfit for a while, so I'd love to have her in a sleeper. This one's nice because this is zippered. See what I'm doing. I'm not even watching the viewer. Yeah, she's like so flat. Our family is not flat, but I'll tell you that. <laughs> you see opposite. She likes sweet. I hope you can you see that? She looks sweet. Okay, now instead of a hat, I would love to give her a headband. Aw, Alina. But yeah, look at this flat butt. Flat. She has nothing. It's the only thing I don't like. Okay, I have three different ones. This one might be too big around her head. I have this one or this one. So I think this one might be too. Yeah, it's just too big. So this one. This one seems to match her polka dots. A bit more. Oh, here's Alina. Oh my goodness, she is so sweet. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any uh, middle name suggestions, I would love to hear them. And this fits her well. This uh, preemie, preemie outfit. This also could cover up her hands. The mitts. Aww. Now, I do have, <sighs> okay, I'll move these out of the way. I have, this was her blanket I had her in. <laughs> Let's try. Not the perfect swaddler, but oh, oh, okay. Wait, I just have to cuddle her. Oh, uh, yeah, she has no butt. She, I like to see it when I hold them, I like to pat their butts, and she has nothing to pat, so <laughs> so, but, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. And until next time, very soon, guys. Take care. Love you. Bye. Match hand, guys. Match hand. Bye, guys. <laughs>